Hey, what's going on? I went back to another Minecraft minigame, and today we are playing Trouble in Mineville. And so, basically, um, if you see my first video, you know it. And basically, even if you click it on this video minigame, or click it on this video, you should know it. All the rules and stuff, so I won't uh, bother boring you with it. So, basically, this is called Clockwork Island, I think it is. And I always love, there's no, um, dang it. There's always, uh, no, uh, fall damage. Come on, please, no, please, no. Chisel. Okay. We got nothing. We can't find anything. And hopefully I'm not like a traitor. Well, I mean, hopefully I'm not innocent because you don't want to be like far from the tester if you're an innocent because traitors can easily pick you off. And what is this? You can't open that right now. Well, when can I open it? I think there's actually the one that has the iron sword in it. This might actually be a stroke of luck for us. Yes. You are an innocent kid. Try to find out who all the traitors are. Okay, so we got the iron sword, actually. I've never actually gotten the iron sword before. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, basically the inner chest is, like, of course, in a really hard spot. And you actually can't use it until the game starts, obviously. So that's why it's uh, pretty, pretty hard. Okay, so I'm just going to test real quickly. Test. Test got See, I think a few people are actually acting suspiciously. What the? I think this guy pressed the button. Wait a minute, maybe it was the other guy. Maybe not. No, I'm starting to laugh for some reason. It looks like everybody's getting lag spikes, so it's not me. Oh, I get it. That's where the button is. See, the traders have a secret button they can use, and so it looked like that guy used it. So that's why I was attacking him. Hey, when you're on edge like this, you attack anybody. You shoot first and ask questions later. Fortunately, it can only be used once. This guy bl blader ain't testing. Or bladder. Oh, I just realized that's actually bladder. Hey. Okay, he's testing. Usually, when someone's actually willing to test, they actually aren't the. Um, they aren't a traitor. See, he's a detective. I don't even know why he's testing. Miss. Wonderland. Huh. Well, that's an original name, ain't it? I mean, that really is an original name. I mean, sometimes things are too original. Sometimes like Miss Wonderland. I mean, I I've seen stuff like Lava Kid and or like Parkour King or um, I've seen inappropriate names uh, referring to um, uh, well, you know, children, young children might be watching this, so I won't talk about it. But yeah, some people really go to town with their names. Clinging mirror, he's never, um, I don't believe he's tested. He's probably the traitor, he's not going anywhere. See, there's a couple of guys here. Now, they'll probably, they will attack me first, because I'm the guy with the iron sword, and they want the iron sword, of course.
See, I'm actually tempted just to kill her. She never has tested, I don't think, actually. That might actually be, a, who knows, she might be a traitor. <laughs> no. Okay, someone just called a distress signal. And so I really don't know where that's coming from, actually, because there's really no way to see inside a building. Oh, and there's two one swords here. Could there have been a killing here? Well, I may never know. Wow, big lag spike somehow from this server. This sometimes is server lag. Or sometimes it might be actually my internet. Because you can see I'm not lagging one bit. Okay, this uh, Candy Hunter, I think he's tested. I'm not sure. This Bladder guy is tested. We still need a bow, actually. That's the one thing we actually need is a bow. Should we just go kill random people? <laughs> I think maybe we should just, if this game goes too long, I'm trying to keep these under 10 minutes. If the game goes farther than this, I might just have to go kill random. Or who knows, this whole episode might just be one big game. Let's see, Clinging Mirror has never tested. Clinging Mirror. Test. That's kind of an odd name, ain't it? Clinging Mirror. I'm actually just tempted. Okay, he's an innocent. Okay, so we pretty much tested everybody around. Let's see who else? Raider. Um, let's see. Clean Mayor Shagada. There's Floppid and Raider J9. Those are the two that I have not tested. Oh, he's trying to push a little button, ain't he? That and the fact he refuses to test might actually suggest he might be up to some suspicious activity. One may never know what could happen. And the fact that he just tried to shoot me. I know I'm starting right or wrong. I'm 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 recording. Oh, he didn't. He ran. I knew it. I wouldn't. You see, the I actually explained it in another video of mine is the fact that I would have possibly killed him. But the thing is, you have to be like 100% sure that he actually is the traitor. Because if you kill any innocent, it doesn't matter if they're attacking you or not. If you kill any innocent, they are going to you're going to lose comma. And comma leads to bans. So that's basically... Okay, he ran. See, he might... He has the element of surprise after him. If I just face them PvP, I, I might... I probably... I have the advantage with the weapon. But he might have the element of surprise. And that may be all you really need. Let's see, what's up here... So that guy has a stone sword. That's Raider. There's a guy up there in the boat. Okay. Well, these are the bad guys that are right in front of me, right? Uh, let's see. I don't know. If I had a bow. I did not get a bow. And all the instants get... Oh, wow. The instants won. Okay. That Raider was an innocent? What the heck? Why did he run from the... Okay, whatever. I don't care. I just freaking don't care. The guy, he runs from the... He had nothing to run from. And he runs and makes me think... I don't even know.
Sometimes people just look out for their friends or something. Maybe he was a friend of the last trader and wanted to protect him. I don't know. But yeah, that kind of that's kind of weird, ain't it? The guy was innocent. He runs and acts like a traitor and makes us all want to kill him. And he turns out he's not. Okay. Well, at least I was right for killing him or else I would have gotten a negative comma penalty, thank goodness. Alright, so here we are in the second map and this is called Welcome to Woodbury. I know, real lame city name, I know. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Chaz, Ted, are you kidding me? It's the same guy from earlier. What's he doing here in the same game? This, he ain't supposed to be in this game. It's supposed to be new people. Not the same people on over and still in my chest all the time. What's wrong with these guys? This always reminded me of Hunger Games, the first stage of Trouble in Mineville, because the whole just everybody trying to grab chest real quickly. I just can't help it. It always reminds me of Trouble in Mineville. And yeah, and some of these cities ain't even, you know, nothing's actually in them. Or they ain't even uh, a house, actually. They just, like, you're like, oh, whatever. I, I keep monologuing. Okay, so we're slightly doing better than last time. We actually got some stuff, but someone else is going to get the Iron Sword, unfortunately. Okay, so now we're innocent again. Surprise, surprise. And let's find out who the traitors are and don't get our, don't get ourselves killed. That's basically the whole thing of the game. Don't get yourself killed in the first five minutes. And I consider it a success. See, okay, Bladder's doing this whole, what is that, Blat? Oh, okay, so it's that way, huh? But it's doing slap each other with swords, huh? Okay, he's innocent, so I can't kill him. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, Slaughterfest. And he was innocent. Yeah, that's, uh, when you're innocent, it's always good to attack people with weapons. That's the number one way to show your innocence, is to try to kill people. That, that is true. When you want to show your innocence, just kill people. That always proves it. And, oh, of course, I get killed. I, I, mean, I lose 20 comma because I try to protect the traitor. Of course I do. That's just the way the game is. <laughs> I mean, wow. But, you know, I don't care. I have, I can't even see the comma. 515, so I have a little bit of comma to spare. And he was innocent. Okay, everybody, before we kill anyone else, let's make sure they actually are innocent. Let's not slaughter everybody. Yeah, I don't even think they heard me. And here's clenching mirror again. Let's see. What is this? Bladder wrap? I don't even want to know what the name is. I don't want to know what it stands for. Oh, Raider's also back in this game. Mr. Fake Traitor Acting Guy. Let's see. Okay, there's a lot of people still left. <sighs> okay, a traitor's been killed. I only have a wooden sword, so I'm not... Oh, is this someone that's got killed? Nope. Just some people slapping each other around. Because, you know, we always love slapping each other with swords. That's the number one way in America to have fun. <laughs> Let's see. What's this one girl here? See, I'm going to try to see if I can scare them some. Okay, so apparently we're having some slapping around. And this is Brianna's, Brianna's World. <laughs> kind of an odd name for a girl. Man, a lot of people are getting up on that building. Let's see, how do you get up there? Um, see, I can't see any parkour up here. Let's see. And there's no part. How on earth do you get up there? Oh, maybe it's in this building. Possibly. Oh, okay, this one, this building. Oh, 
I I love it when um, one of my favorite times in Trouble in Mineville is when we have huge long games like 20 25 minutes and people slowly die and like kind of like these games not where you know people just get slaughtered instantly and it's over in about five minutes I love to record one of those but it usually happens sometimes it's like usually it's like late at night actually that's when these kind of, of games happen is um, like at late at night I guess for some reason I've always noticed that and we have uh, detectors brawling it out under there and I'm just going to sit here for a while because uh, hopefully nobody you know, just comes and pushes me off the edge. Captain Wedgie. Should I push him down? Should I? See, I know Brianna's world ain't. Okay, just... I know she's innocent. I don't know if she has a weapon or not. See. Laying on the wall, I think, kind of... Neglect your fall some. This guy here has stayed in the tester almost all game. See, everyone here is innocent. So I guess it's time to... Only, okay, wow, people are dropping like flies now. It just went from... It just went from 13 to 10 in about 10 seconds. Okay, I'm just going to stay near a detective. Because I'm sure he think, knows I'm innocent. And we're going after somebody. See his shaggy dog. I think he tested actually. Okay, nine people left. Uh, let's see. Nice little Minecraft music. In the man's all the slaughter, all it's going around, all the bodies, it's always nice to have Sylvie music. Okay, now that I've renewed my reputation. This Blade, I'm just gonna call him Blade, because calling him the other thing's too weird. I'm just gonna uh, call him Blade. I really just want to kill him because of that. I mean,. Play it with me. <laughs> I'm really just tempted to kill him. I really am. I am seriously am. I mean, when you put a name like that, you're just begging people to kill you. <laughs> I kind of like this one of those nice long games like I was saying before. I really love these type of games. It's like, who's the traitor? Where are they hiding? Who could it be? And there's a body here, and he's a detective. Oh, this guy has not tested. We found ourselves a traitor, ladies and gentlemen. We all go in at what once. Crap, he hit me. I forget there's no armor. There used to be actually armor on this map, actually. You could find it, but they actually got rid of it. And a player has died. Let's see? Oh, both of them are cooped up in there. Come on. Oops. Come on. Come on. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. My sacrifice. I had to. My unwilling sacrifice. I sacrificed myself and I, I got killed by a sacrifice myself. I died and he died. I sacrificed myself. What a game. Wow. I never thought that would actually happen. I, would, I actually killed the guy and I ended up, he ended up killing me at the exact same time we killed each other in my sacrifice. I was the only guy left. The detective got killed, the other guy got killed, and one guy was just sitting outside. I don't know when he was going to come in. And um, the detective got rid of one guy. I come in and I take the, I got two hits on the guy. He got two hits on me. And the exact same time we kill each other and I actually end up, well, I died, but we actually end up winning the game. 
incredible. And you know who actually ended up winning that was Raptor guy, the guy who stayed in that little wimpy place. He, he stayed in the tester and actually ended up winning. Okay, so I hope you guys did enjoy this little Trouble in Mineville, these two games. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more of these, just, uh, you know, let me know. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye.